Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5, and today we've got some massive leaks, and I'm very excited to talk about it in this video, but I have to quickly first off say, take it with a grain of salt, because it is leaks, they could be right, but they could be wrong, but I'm feeling pretty confident about these ones, that's just me personally, so let me know what are your thoughts after I've gone over everything, in the comments down below so if you do go on to enjoy the video please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year okay so this week has been kind of crazy there's been the announcement that arrows you know ending after season 8 and then we got the season finale date so we talked about that yesterday we have a Lex Luthor trailer which is going to be probably my next video after this I know I promised it yesterday but I'll get round to that so that's with Supergirl but now We've got this leak from The Flash, and this is over on 4chan, and I've been on 4chan maybe like once before, so I don't know how reliable 4chan is, but this source seems to be pretty reliable, and yeah, that's just how I perceive it. The leak is coming from an anonymous user, and supposedly they work in Vancouver on multiple CW shows, and they mainly work on Arrow and Riverdale, but was lucky enough to start working on The Flash in the last past six weeks or so. So that's when they shot the big Godspeed episode. And he is supposedly, or she is supposedly, been able to get some information for us. So we're going to be breaking it down, talking about everything, and sort of theorizing a bit as well as we normally do. So this is how the first paragraph goes. I think I'll break it down paragraph by paragraph and talk about it. Okay, so, was there for filming episode 18, which was revealed to be called Godspeed, and will feature that character from the comics. I can tell you that he will be a recurring character for not only the rest of this season, but in season 6 as well. So that's incredible, that's insane. So, supposedly, he is confirming, and I'm using that with heavy quotation marks, because, again, leaks, you don't know, but, Supposedly, if Godspeed stays around, that's crazy. So if he is a recurring character, that means he's going to be appearing from episode 18 onwards. So that's 19, 20, 21, and 22. And he's going to be kept into season 6. So is he going to become a series regular? So this would be absolutely incredible because it would tease the idea of him becoming a villain in season 6. So I think if this leak does become true, this is essentially confirming that he is going to be a some sort of of a villain for the next season because although later in this leak they talk about another villain potentially being a bigger one it could be godspeed it could be just a different version of godspeed and we've been theorizing about that recently but it all seems like this is lining up for potentially a season six villain in godspeed and we know in the comics august hart does work with barry and for a while he's good but then he goes off you know into the deep end and he goes absolutely insane and he's the most powerful speedster and then he goes kills loads of speedsters as this description says. That would be crazy. So would you guys be really hyped to see Godspeed as the season 6 villain? I know I would personally. And are you excited if he does recur throughout the rest of this season? I am. Alright, let's move on to the next bit. So from what I was able to gather, he is a villain in the future. But something happens to him once he time travels while seeking speedsters to kill and become more powerful that changes him so this description is exactly what i was sort of thinking because we know he's in the future because the scenes they shot was in 2049 and we know godspeed's the villain in the comics so from what this person can gather he's going to be a time traveler from the future seeking speedsters to kill as he does in the comics we know he tries to kill all the speedsters who got new powers from the Speed Force Storm and he does successfully do that apart from a few people and so potentially they're following sort of like a really similar line as they did in the comics but they're going to be twisting it a bit which we'll talk about in a sec and so he's going to be becoming more powerful by killing the speedsters as this person teases so again nothing too different from the comics but it does tease the idea that he's potentially from even further in the future that he's from 2049 or potentially he could be from the past it could be a savitar type thing when you think he's from the future but he might be from the past but i think for now we can presume he's probably going to be a future time traveler but i think it's kind of open right now so moving on to the next paragraph won't be a hero like the others on the show but will serve as an ally to team flash to take down a greater and more lethal threat 
not 100% sure who is at this stage. Oh, so he's talking about who's going to be the villain, like, that he's going to team up to actually try and defeat. So they say, but a character called the Red Death was talked about in a previous episode this season, which is another character from the comics who is an evil speedster. So that could be the greater threat is or that could be what the greater threat is i'm sorry but the writing's a little confusing to read and so he goes on to continue as the other character mentioned along with him was zoom who has come and gone on the show and then the last sort of line we'll go over in a minute but let's break this down so apparently like i teased earlier godspeed could become an ally on the show so that is sort of twisted the idea of how they did it in the comics because at first august hart worked with barry in his job at the CCPD and he was a detective or like a forensic scientist, I can't specifically remember his job title, but they worked together so he was good, he was trying to defeat these criminals and you know just be on the side of the law, but he took it too far because he started murdering people and mainly criminals obviously because he thinks he is a hero, he's doing what the Flash cannot do, he's not just putting them into prison, he's actually defeating them and just killing them. So. He goes off the deep end and so this sort of twists it because it seems like he's a villain in the future. He comes back, he's killing all these speedsters. We know he kills a speedster called Leah which was leaked rather recently and so we know he is a speedster killer. But if he's an ally this is a total switch because he's obviously been the speedster killer and now he's potentially been an ally. And maybe he does hide it from Team Flash that he's a killer, or I guess they could actually be working with him knowing that he's a villain, but I highly doubt that. So I think it's going to be sort of like a, I guess a Jay Garrick type thing where no one knew he was Zoom, but he was actually a villain, but he was helping them at the same time. Maybe it's something similar to that. So the person is not 100% sure who the greater threat and more lethal threat is but they think it could potentially be the Red Death and so Red Death like I talked about recently he was only recently introduced in Dark Knight's Metal and he is a mix of the Flash and Batman well he's Batman essentially with speedster powers and so he's fairly new but I don't think if Red Death appears he's going to have anything to do with Batman I guess it could be to do with Batwoman but I would presume it's just like just called the Red Death rather than actually being Batman. So just another normal speedster. And so he thinks that Godspeed's going to ally with Team Flash to take down this greater threat in that being Red Death. And so I guess from this we can theorize that this person is talking about maybe Red Death coming up and actually, you know, being presented at the end of the season, but then becoming a main villain. But a theory we've all been talking about recently is what happens if Godspeed is a past version and he turns into Red Death in the future due to some sort of accident or due to him just changing and becoming more and more lethal, being more of a threat and, you know, Godspeed doesn't know that he's doing that. Maybe similar to Savitar, like how Barry was fighting Savitar, but he didn't know he was fighting himself because he had no idea. Maybe Godspeed doesn't know and Godspeed wants to take down Red Death so he can take his powers and become the most powerful speedster because maybe Red Death is more powerful and that's probably Godspeed's reason for actually teaming up if he does. And so they believe it's probably going to be this evil speedster that is going to appear who is going to sort of be more powerful than Godspeed. Okay, so the last line essentially is a wrap up of everything that he talked about in this leak or she talked about in this leak. And so it says, Godspeed starts off as a villain, time travels to hunt, faced by a greater threat, becomes an ally to Team Flash. Greater threat could be Red Death. Okay, so that is essentially what's potentially happening in these leaks, like what could be happening at the end of this season and leading into season six. So let me know in the comments down below, do you think Godspeed is going to be a season six villain? Do you think Red Death is? Or do you think it's a bit more complicated than that? I don't think it's going to be as clear cut because we know Godspeed's a murderer and Team Flash wouldn't work with a murderer. So I think it might be a sort of Jay Garrick Earth 2 type situation when it's actually Hunter Solomon. And I think next season, the one thing we need to actually have is a speedster villain, but he has to be masked and it must be a mystery because we've been lacking that. And if you notice, if you go back and when, you know, we were watching season three when it was originally airing a few years ago, that was the last time 
we actually properly were theorizing about stuff apart from Nora but that was a really small part of last season we haven't actually been theorizing and talking about as much and you can see it sort of parallels with the sort of amount of videos and amount of new youtubers coming up with videos and people theorizing online because we haven't had barely any mysteries you know we had this season I guess reverse flasher a little bit like who is working with Nora and we get the reveal and that was the best reveal we loved that because it was just something to look forward to after the mid-season break and I think we really need that next season and I'm really looking forward to it and I would be so happy if Godspeed sticks around and he potentially becomes a villain or he works with Team Flash but also Red Death because they're both amazing so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe turn on notifications and I'll see you guys later goodbye